Goodbye. But this is an abortion or something. Praying? I, I might be praying in my head. Um, so I'll, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station for me to ask you some questions about today and other days where there are allegations that you've broken public space of protection? Uh, if I've got a choice, then no. OK, well then, you're under arrest. I can't suspicion of failing to comply with the public spaces protection order. So the most craziest thing about this whole scenario is this woman, if you hear the story, I'll put a clip of it. She actually said that she had been doing this for 20 years. She had been going outside of abortion clinics in Britain, if I'm not mistaken, that's the place, and just praying, praying for our future of our world, for people to not want to kill their kids and using the power of prayer. You know what I mean? She, she literally just doing something of peace. And they said that it was protest. When she got arrested, she had to get bailed out because where she's at, where she's located in the world, they consider that protest. And I don't understand how they consider it protest. She went alone. It wasn't multiple people. She had no sign. She wasn't being chaotic. She simply just went there to pray for the people that may be thinking about killing their babies, which we know is a sin. And I really don't understand how that is an issue in the United States. It's other forms of Christianity where they persecute us. They cancel us. That's what we call a cancel culture. And we see this all over the world. We see this in Africa. We see this in the Middle East. And this is something that just really bothers me. The fact that a person could be just moving in peace and just praying to God, like, Lord, heal, heal these people inside this place so where they don't want to kill their children or where they make the right decision so they don't have to be put in that position. And I get it. We we might all find ourselves in a position of the world, but it's against the will of God to to commit this sin. And uh, she's simply just going out there praying. And if you see in the video, she was standing alone. Like I, I say that again, she was standing alone. She had no one there. She was very peaceful and she was praying to herself. So it was literally just her praying between her and God. And she just wanted to consult with God about the things that are going on and, and what she sees. She said she had been doing this for a long period of time. She was later released, but it's just something that bothers me that people can do these parades. People can do uh, the drag queen stuff in schools. We can do all of these things out in the open, yet Christians are persecuted for believing in Jesus Christ. It's it's crazy. Let me just re read this Bible verse to you. It's in uh, Luke 21, 12. It says, but before all these things, they will seize you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. <sighs> it will turn out as a testimony for you. It's like the Bible is telling us right here. We don't believe in the Bible. We don't believe in all these things that happen in the Bible. It's literally what we believe, what we see in today's world is, is crazy how we are persecuted for our religion, for our faith in Jesus Christ and, and for voicing our faith. But the Bible tells you to not deny God in front of man, because when it's time for you to be judged, he'll say, look, you deny me in front of man. So now I deny you. So I, I love what this woman did. And, I just wanted to shed light on the situation. I, de I did see this story on CNN about three days ago, and I thought it was a beautiful story how she was uh, persecuted. It wasn't a beautiful thing. But at the end of the day, we know that God is using that bad situation to, to make something good out of it, because now it was on CNN and it was saying, look, this this woman of God was praying for the people inside this abortion place and she was persecuted. She was arrested. But at the end of the day, even though they tried to bring her down, it still glorifies God. So that's the most beautiful thing, man. I hope that y'all have a good one and God bless y'all.